So we have a new coastal roads in Watopia and this new expansion is pretty cool. This new route is 19 kilometers or about 11.8 miles long. It is a highway connecting two spots, Fuga Flats and the Mayan jungle. So you will start off in a virtual desert and then winding your way through the southern coastal shoreway. Zwift hasn't added new roads to Watopia since, well, I believe it was the Titan Grove. I am not counting the climb portal that was just added recently, and if my memory serves me right, that was the last significant addition to Watopia, and that was back in 2019. So let's break down the new route. The new expansion will take you along Watopia's southern coastline. From Fuga Flats, you will go through a tunnel and the first thing you will see is the Googie Springs, which looks like a fishing village where you run into Cranky's Crab Shack and you can make a stop there if you want for a virtual crab meal. From there, the route takes you to this densely forested evergreen coast, which looks amazing. After the Pancake Cafe, you will enter the Sudan La Cambre, which looks like a vibrant community located at the foot of the epic KOM. And if you Google that name, you'll learn that La Cambre, and I'm probably not pronouncing this correctly, is a town in the Sierra mountain range in central Argentina. Once you pass through the tunnel, you'll find yourself at the Mayan community of Sandy Coast before you get into the Mayan passage, which links the southern coast to the Mayan jungle. The new road closely hugs the Watopia's coastline and is mostly flattish and includes four new sprint segments. You will also find eight new routes added that use combination of old and new roads. The new routes ranges from 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles all the way to 48 kilometers or 29.8 miles. So the big question, when can you ride it? So let me break it down for you because it can be a bit confusing. The new routes will be available to Zwifters starting today with the 1.51 game release. Some Zwifters will be prompted to update today and this all depends on how the update is rolled out. Zwift has been rolling out updates in phases, so some will get version 1.51 of the update today, and some might get it tomorrow or on Friday. All Zwifters will have access to the new coastal route during the fifth stage of the Tour of Watopia that is going to start on October 30th. After the tour event is over, any Zwift users who has reached level 10 or higher will be able to access the new southern coast route. So in a nutshell, some people will get early access, everyone else can try it out during the fifth stage of the Tour of Utopia, and if you are level 10 or above, you'll get permanent access after the event and uh, you'll be able to select the route. So this is going to remain a level locked route and getting to level 10 shouldn't be that difficult. The first 10 levels are usually attained pretty quickly. And the new Southern Coast isn't just a standalone feature. Zwift says they plan on using it as a starting point for even more new routes. Think of it like a new highway that's going to have more exists and destination added down the road. Good to see new routes added to Utopia, and I think I'm going to be riding this one a lot. So go ahead, give it a try and let me know what you think of this new map in the comments. And do not forget to tap the like button. And if you're still watching but have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again and I'll catch you 
in the next video.